To change the set point, push and hold the set button for more than two seconds. When the degrees Fahrenheit display begins flashing, push the up or down arrows to adjust up or down. To save the new set point and return to the temperature display mode, push the set button or wait 10 seconds. If the snowflake is illuminated at the top of the controller, this means that the compressor and the fans are on. The temperature should be decreasing. Each unit is programmed to automatically engage defrost mode every four or six hours. At any time, the unit can be forced into a manual defrost mode. To do this, hold down the defrost button until DF is displayed. This will last for approximately 20 minutes or until the unit reaches its defrost termination temperature. If P1 is flashing on the controller, this means that the controller is not getting a signal from the temperature probe. To ensure the probe is connected, remove the top cover, then bend back the shield. Confirm that the green plug is properly aligned and snapped into place. The temperature display should reappear. If P1 continues to flash, the probe will need to be checked for proper resistance and may need to be replaced. There are two ways to verify that the probe is calibrated correctly. First, remove the probe from the evaporator area and place into an ice bath made of mostly ice. Stir for one minute. The thermostat should read 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Disconnect the green maintenance lock and remove the probe from the evaporator area. Use a small flathead screwdriver to remove the wire ends from the green connector. The resistance found with the ohm meter should fall between 28,751 ohms to 26,118 ohms. If it does not fall within this range, the probe needs to be replaced. 